today we are going to Gimje for a couple days. Going to a, is it a seasonal festival or like an annual, like, it's like a once a year thing? Like an annual festival, super traditional. It's traditional? Super traditional. <laughs> and we're gonna hang out with her fam and just, it'll be nice to leave Seoul for a little bit. It's always nice to go to the countryside. It's not like super rural, but definitely not like a big city. I've never sat in the seat where you're going backwards, but it's not bad. I think people get car sick, some people. Or train sick, rather. Alright, we just freshened up. We're gonna go run some errands before we go to the festival. Yeah, it's pretty nice out today. Why are you taking that? Because I feel like a lot of people don't know what the countryside looks like. Everyone just thinks major cities. Seoul, Busan, Jeju. Yeah, it's very calm over here. The pace is much slower and it's just a relaxing it's vibe. People walking on air. Kaptagi. The lady bought a bunch of grapes. I thought she was just wanted I thought she just wanted to buy one. She bought a whole box. And then guess who has to carry it? You. So a little story time. I couldn't find my film camera and I thought I left it on the train. So we called them and we're just like looking everywhere for it. But it turns out I left it at the restaurant we ate at when we first arrived. So luckily we were able to retrieve it. On another note, we're at this jewelry shop right now. This ring right here, we got here, this jewelry shop. And I'm gonna see if there's something that my mom wants. I'll just bring it back as like a gift or souvenir. Let's go. Mission accomplished. We were in there for a little longer than I wanted to be, but yeah, got the OG swagged out. So it's just here year round? She said I need to like start this like gently. <laughs> like the water. Do it again?
since Here they make their own duenjang, their own gochujang, their own soy. I don't know about y'all, but this kind of stuff really excites me.
So these are like traditional Korean jars for used for fermentation and there's a science going on because they're alive, they're breathing. Air can enter and exit these jars so they have to be cleaned every day. You can smell it? I Seriously, just look at how many. Look at how many jars. The Korean one has to be like, you know, so they made it like this. Wow, that's insane. Soil on top of the jars for but soy. But like, these days kind of like dirty, that's why they made it like this. Yeah, so then they're, the jars are mostly underground. Yeah, back to why this stuff excites me. It's like just premium ingredients, you know, not that artificial shit. You kidding me? You guys see all that? They are not playing around. And I think it's just so sick to learn about, you know, how this stuff is made. I don't know about you guys, but soy sauce, gochujang, doenjang, these are like very common ingredients. So just to see like the creme de la creme, you know, the best. It's such a nice view too. I mean, who wouldn't want to come here? Just enjoy the vibes. Bless you. I think he's like, you know, the head. This one's kind of ugly. I think that, that is head. It's definitely Yo. a big head. Yeah. I never knew geese could make this, this sound. Ah, uh, is it only one male? Is this a male? All right, we are going to head to dinner now. Um, did a little bit of light shopping. I've never heard of this store called Top 10, but it's like a Uniqlo equivalent, but the price point is where Uniqlo was maybe like five plus years ago. So, cause I do feel like Uniqlo has really, really raised their prices and the quality hasn't really improved. In fact, it might've gotten worse, so. Bought a bunch of like business casual clothes for the new job and yeah, it was like a one plus one deal. The biggest, the biggest door buster must have been I got these 100% cashmere sweatshirts and I think it was like $73 for one but you get one for free so like 30 something. Crazy deals. So we stocked up. I have your channels. Oh, you're subscribed? Yeah. This is the ladies, Kazo. <laughs> We're gonna eat uh, Hanwoo, right? Hanwoo? Hanwoo? Hanwoo. Hanwoo. Korean cow. Korean cow. Uh, Korean beef. Beef. Korean beef. 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 Yeah. beef. And we're gonna buy the beef down here and then go up and cook it. Look at the beef. Mm. You need to choose it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I the spread is looking crazy right now. Hmm? It's grilled to perfection. Look at that. Yeah. 
How was the meal? Good. Good? good. One to yeah. ten, one to ten. Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah. Oh. Your roasting is perfect. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, so actually I was treating the whole fam to the hanwoo and I actually prefer Korean beef over wagyu because there's just a little more bite. It's less fatty, you know, it's you still you still get the texture of steak instead of just like fatty butter like you get from Wagyu. Right now we are headed to burn off all of that Hanwu and we're doing a CrossFit session. It's going to be more cardio focused today. I haven't worked out in about a week, so I'm really looking forward to this. I just hope I don't throw up because we literally just ate. I must stay focused on these big bang rolls. I can't, can't trust these hoes. No, 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 no. I must stay focused on these big bang rolls. I can't, can't trust these hoes. No, 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 no. Been taking Molly in his lean since the other day. Night quill, super healthy niggas, just a protege. Kettle type, I've been pouring falls in a cherry sprite. 30 mil, branded or two years. This illegal heist. I'm a sir, sipping rich young nigga. Yeah, it's me. Fifteen time. Fifteen time. bathroom up but on another note I don't know who I thought I was benching and squatting before CrossFit I definitely don't recommend eating a bunch of Korean beef an hour before doing CrossFit and I definitely underestimated CrossFit because that shit kicked my ass and I chickened out <laughs> chickened out on the last round the instructor's like you're gonna feel it tomorrow shit I feel it right now you get me I'm surprised that these shoes held up that might as well have been a a6 advertisement. Yeah, we're ready to leave now. And that was worse than running suicides for basketball. <laughs> that was terrible. Good terrible. We are back in Seoul and we're gonna eat an omakase sushi. I'm super excited for this omakase because I didn't get a chance to eat omakase in New York so here we are I love eating omakase in Korea because the price point is much lower I think this one's like $48 44. $44 USD per person and that's including tax there's no tipping so that's just beautiful I'm gonna sip some sake and it's gonna be a very chill Saturday
from the omakase and I just wanted to talk about it because it was such a great experience at the price point of 40 something dollars 44 dollars inclusive of tax and no tip that is insane the amount of uni that he gave us the performance the theatrics you know I feel like omakase these days you walk in and like it can be a little unwelcoming it can be sort of pretentious as well and I feel like these days chef's menus like apart from just omakase right the value is based on the price point and he kind of touched on this himself like the better spots are the more expensive spots which I also don't agree with and I also don't think is true um, and he's he's you know he's esteemed he's he studied sushi in Japan. His sensei was was a chef at a three Michelin sushi spot. Yeah, he's got the training. He's very knowledgeable, very friendly. He gave us the an extra course, you know, just cause he felt like it. You know what I mean? Like I honestly don't even think the lunch menu is profitable at all because there's so many courses. He's not giving us like some weak ass shit, you know. He's giving us the good stuff. Um, uni from Canada, uni from Mexico, the big uni, um, Ikura, giving us Otoro, Chutoro, was it Chutoro? Chutoro, Otoro. Yeah, Chutoro, oh, no. Otoro. Otoro, and then fatty tuna. Fatty tuna is the medium fatty tuna or? Just fatty tuna. Just fatty tuna. And we had it like in a lobster. Fatty tuna, and yeah. That was, Jincha, that was a great, great experience. Um, and the price point is just like icing on top. You get me, fam. Definitely recommend that spot. What is that spot called? I don't remember, but once I figure it out, I'll put it in the bio or something. We are gonna go do um, a two hour massage. So, sushi, omakase with some sake, and now we're gonna do um, full body massage. Mine is gonna be the one with the aroma, so oils and whatnot. It's gonna be super relaxing. We're gonna take it real easy today. Yeah. So the massage here is like $30 an hour, which is an insane deal, to be honest. This is pretty nice. Oh, oh that's, that hurts so bad. Oh my God. 
I just finished. Oh my god. I feel like a new person. Yeah, so just wanted to talk about it a little more now that I'm like awake. But I really liked how cleanly that place was. Very professional, no funny business. And yeah, I highly recommend. Why is this so popular? It's yum. It's yum? I've only been in Korea for a week and I've had this at least four times now. This stuff is terrible for your teeth. It's a Chinese Koreans, dessert. Koreans like Chinese food. Koreans love Chinese food, apparently. So this is why we're here. We're watching the Korea versus Japan match, Asian Games. And this is a pretty highly anticipated game. I think this is for gold, so... And bragging rights, obviously. The whole street is packed, but we managed to find this spot, and now we're chilling. Good view, nice vibe, a little quiet too, so... Chicken feet? Yeah, no bones. What area are we in right now? Song Sudong. Today we're in Song Sudong and we're gonna go to this cafe, Norman's Cafe. It's from London, but they're doing a pop up here because I guess they're catering for Burberry. And it's perfect that it's in this area because we're going to a music festival today. We're gonna see Lil Mr. Uzi. Samir Woods Uzi. here in Korea. Bada yada yada. It's a line, isn't it? That one, that one, that one. Look at their uniforms. It's like we're back in London, huh? Yeah. It's mostly the stuff that they have on their like um, menu on Instagram. Ham, two eggs and chips. Tomatoes. Tomatoes and garlic mayo. Let's just get like three things maybe? This is the Guinness bread with butter. Ask them what the tea is. It's British tea. Oh, British tea. Should we just get tea? Yeah, you want tea? You want tea? Let's get tea. Like as much as you want. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, I figured. I think we, we could like order one only. This is the one with the caviar? Yeah. That's a kura. Yeah, because it's too small. He's a tomato addict. This item is exclusive to this pop-up. This is their cottage pie with beef and beans. He said to eat it with a fork. Peas too. Correction, beef and peas. This is probably the best item on the menu. It's so hearty and rich. I like this one. Yeah, the crisp was pretty good too. I like the fish and chips. Fish and chips are good. Hmm? We need to ask that. But yeah, Norman's Cafe. Definitely recommend checking it out. I do want to check out their actual location in London someday. Right now we're just going to do some shopping before the festival.
need to hear y'all get really, really, really loud. Hey. I need to hear y'all get really, really loud. Hey. One, two.
recommend wearing these Martin Rose shocks for six hours at a concert. I'm about to walk barefoot like those uh, old people we passed earlier. Anyway, I ran into a subscriber in the bathroom, which I think is sick because, you know, that doesn't happen often, but it's happened twice so far while I've been here. So in the past week or so, I run, it, run into two subscribers. So that's sick. I love running into you guys. What the? Aww. Some of you guys might be thinking, Jen, why did you go see Uzi in Korea? Well, we've never been to a concert together or a festival, so we, we didn't just come to see Uzi. We saw several artists. But seeing Uzi, this is the second time I've seen Uzi, and I gotta say, this, this performance was top tier. Like, I had so much fun. Um, I used to be a huge, huge Uzi fan. Like, look at this. I've had this handle and this profile picture for like five plus years. Maybe maybe like seven plus years. Yeah, fuck. Uzi's fit was hard as fuck. Full Rick. I knew I tweaked. I should have got those Rick shades that he was wearing instead of the ones I bought. And yeah, I'm having so much fun out here. This, this trip's been even better than the last one, which is, I didn't even know that was possible. We're gonna eat some food and fuel up and uh, I just take it easy. One more thing about the festival I really liked is the safety and I was telling them in the States, like I'm wearing jewelry, I got my glasses, like cameras, multiple cameras. I'm getting my shit snatched, bro. There's, there's fights, there's you know, unnecessary violence. Anyway, we're at Heidi Lao for dinner. I don't really like coming to Heidi Lao because I don't think it's that great. I've had way better hot pot and I'm Chinese, so my standards are a little higher, I think, for hot pot. But yeah, the lady loves it, so we're here. It's decent, but it's not great. And it's not cheap, you know? So if I'm gonna pay that price, I wanna eat like the best. But apparently this is the best here. All right, I am back at home now. I'm wearing the shirt that they gave us at the festival. And yeah, I uh, just wanted to round off the vlog, chat with you guys for a bit. Something I forgot to tell you guys is that the doctor friend that we were with was one of the final four lotto ticket selections. And her and three others were literally right there for a g-wagon a little a literal g-wagon you know yeah so some some dude walked away with the g-wagon today which is just insane and i told her like it's it's super improbable to even be one of those four people so for whatever that's worth speaking of improbable events again like running into my subscribers and like <laughs> literally ran into him in the bathroom took a piss and I'm walking to go wash my hands 
run into them and yeah just being told like oh i watch all your videos and subscribe to your channel and this and that that definitely means a lot because sometimes i definitely get in my own head um when it comes to either youtube or instagram or tiktok or anything like so like metric driven that um it affects you know how frequent i post or if i archive something or you know just getting in my head too much so means a lot all of your guys' support yorobun komawa yo to all of you guys um and yeah we have one more korea vlog coming up after this so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one